So you want to learn some tricks that will help you level up faster? Perfect. Because I made another list. This time with 12 tips that will get you leveling more efficiently. What's up everyone? My name is Lies, and as you may know, there is a wipe coming in Tarkov any day now. This will return everyone back to level 1, making the playing field equal, at least for a couple of hours, because experienced streamers and players all implement strategies that allow them to level up extremely quickly. Don't get me wrong, there is no actual speed leveling hack to Tarkov. It takes a lot of hours to level up. How many though depends on how effective you are. So let's get started. We'll begin at the beginning. Well, duh. When you open up the game for the first time after wipe, inspect every single piece of equipment from every trader. This will allow you to reach level 2 before entering your first raid. Once you've reached level 2, enter a raid and immediately cancel it. This will refresh the traders and allow you to accept the task that unlocks Jaeger. Jaeger is also important for leveling up quickly because his tasks give a lot of experience compared to the other traders, so he will allow you to gain some easy levels later on. The next step is to be effective when killing enemies, because whether you're hitting headshots or not makes a difference. A headshot will give you bonus experience that is slightly more than double of what it would normally give. Headshots will grant the kill times 1.2 according to the wiki. This is important to know because scaffs are the most common type of enemies you'll encounter in the game. Of course, it's always worth to go for the headshot, whether it's a player, a guard, a boss or whatever, but don't let it hold you back from getting the kill. This one belongs in the same category as the previous one because we are going to focus on getting as much experience as possible out of things that we're already doing. Specifically, looting every item of corpses, containers and surfaces will grant you experience every time you do this. You'll obviously fill up quickly, so most of the items are dropped again right away. This will take a bit of time at first, but it'll be minimal and it will also help you level your search and attention skills. And while we're on the subject of items you find, let's take a look at the quest items you're going to need. Because you can save a lot of time by becoming familiar with what items to save and what items to sell. The problem with this strategy is that it quickly uses up your stash space. That's why it's crucial to save up 1.1 million rubles early on so you can buy a lucky scaff junk box from Therapist. Now, I don't want to understate the importance of this one because it is a game changer. You will save so much time by picking up the quest items you need along the way. I'm not sure if there's an accurate image of all the quest items that are needed in the game, but I'll post a link to the one used in the video down in the comments. The earlier in the wipe you use high level armor and weapons, the stronger they are going to be. I understand how tempting it is to keep all of the shiny gear you find early in the wipe, but the sooner you start using these items, the more powerful they are going to be. The reason for this is that fewer people have early access to good ammunition, so try to say screw it guys. There is literally no point in hoarding all of this high level stuff if you are running low level loadouts at the same time. This is a minor point, but instead of paying therapists to heal you after dying or extracting from a raid, you should use the heals you have in your stash instead, as this will give you a bit of experience. It ain't much, but it's on its work. Grizzlies are preferred for this because they will take care of fractures, bleeds and healing. You've probably heard this before, but playing right now before wipe happens will help you a lot. The streamers and veterans have all been playing the game for years, so even though they are level 1, they can take on anything in the game with even a minimal loadout. I strongly advise you to get online as soon as possible so you can get back into the talk of mindset. There's even an event going on right now where you can scap into the laps, so the action in there is insane, especially if you load in as a PMC. Upgrading your hideout as quickly as possible will also help you level up faster for a couple of reasons. You will be able to craft a variety of items that are required for tasks. Some of these items can be difficult to locate at times, so being able to craft them instead can save you a lot of time. Once you have the library crafted, you are going to gain 15% bonus experience from all raids, which is pretty huge. Furthermore, the library boosts your practical skills leveling by 30% by default, which increases with every level of hideout management you gain. The air filter will improve your physical skills, such as endurance and strength, which are both very valuable to level up. So even though it is expensive, I believe it is worthwhile because it is going to provide you with not only crafts and bonus experience, but also passive income in the future if used properly. Use the no backpack extracts when necessary. This is often a good idea if you're doing a task run and you need to pick up an item. Focus on getting in and out, don't waste time picking up loot and instead go for that no backpack extract, which could mean you avoid a camper. There appears to be a bit more extract campers earlier in the wipe, so going for these extracts could save you a lot of deaths. 
Now you're bound to come across groups of players making their way through early wipe. As a result, I recommend bringing an extra magazine or two because the ammunition is so cheap early on that it usually doesn't make much of a difference in costs. However, it will give you a fighting chance against a team that is playing aggressively. Find a loot route that you like and run it again and again and again. This relates back to what I said at the beginning of the video that there is no way around spending a significant amount of time. Farming rubles isn't something that everyone needs to do and you're unlikely to see streamers doing loot runs before they've finished leveling. But for me personally, I need to do some runs that are low risk and high reward so I can afford to level up my hideout and run the best gear that I can get. I usually end up broke if I just keep going at it. So loot runs for me are a natural part of both the leveling process and talk of in general. The most important piece of advice I can give you is to simply get good. That is the only proven method for quickly leveling up every time. To that end, I've created this video, which will teach you about the game. Now get out of here! What are you doing? Click on this video, man! Hurry! Hurry!